It's Friday night, 10 p.m. This is Wan Chai in Hong Kong. The streets and bars are packed. Western men mingle with women, Filipinos, Thais, Vietnamese. They're in the doorways, enticing potential customers inside. The so-called girly bars are managed by older women, known as mamasans. We meet a 26-year-old Filipino. On average, she says she goes back to customers' hotels twice a week. She lives above the bar, she tells me, in a bed paid for by her employer. So whatever she earns is hers to take home to the Philippines in six months' time. We're interrupted by the Mamasan. Take her to your hotel, she says. Next door, the Mamasan tells us she's only got one girl left. Only one girl. The others are already earning extra cash at customers' hotels. Another of these women, not from this bar, agreed to talk to Sky News to tell us her story, why she's here and how she is. We meet the following morning and drive out of the district she's not left for the month she's been here. She doesn't want to be identified, her employers will be angry, her family at home in the Philippines think she's working in a restaurant. I'm here in Hong Kong for my family, because I already have a baby, so I have to take care of her. Yeah, that I never imagined that, yeah, I'm here doing this kind of job. No. But, do you, but you feel you have to do what you're doing to support her? Yeah, I have to, I have to support her, but I have to save for her future. You know what I mean? I want to send her in a good school, so that at the end of the day, she won't do what I'm doing now. A few hours later, Sophie is back outside her bar. Because she works within a particular establishment and with a valid work visa, she seems to be less vulnerable than some. She hasn't been pressured to go home with customers so far. Filming secretly, we walk over the street. We pass dealers offering cocaine. They're on most corners, operating openly. We enter a basement bar. This is where women work freelance. They're not tied to a club, and they're here on tourist visas. We speak to a Thai woman. She's been here three weeks. She'll head home tomorrow with the cash for her family. In another corner, a young Vietnamese woman. She's here for just seven days, all the time that her visa will allow. Outside, a unit of police head into another bar. This is a raid, but not against drugs or prostitution. Well, this is a pretty regular occurrence. The police have just gone into a bar up the road. They raided it, the lights went on. They ask all the women working in there for their visas. If they're valid, they can stay and, frankly, continue soliciting. If they're not valid, they'll be arrested and deported. We've obtained figures which show that between January and September this year, 822 entertainment visas were granted to citizens of the Philippines alone. Some of those will be for legitimate singers. The rest are for young women like these. Exploitation of other persons. Patricia Ho is a lawyer. She says the agents who get the women here are traffickers, and the Hong Kong government is complicit. Shall be guilty of an offence. The fact that they're granting um, hundreds, probably thousands, of visas, they know full well that they're going to go into um, prostitute, uh, well, sex work, and they're going to be working for specific bars known to be offering this, uh, these types of services to customers. Yeah, some people may call it easy money, but in my eyes, it may be fast money, but it's not easy at all. Yeah. And also on human what little and support human the women have comes from people like Kendi Yim. Um, she trawls the bars and clubs with leaflets and advice. They are actually strong, they are tough, they, 
they try to just make efforts to um, for a better future. You must miss her. Of course. For Sophie, it's a future for her daughter. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. But also in my heart, but I have to. I have to. She will work 12 hours a night, every night, for the next five months. Mark Stone, Sky News, in Hong Kong.